Why do they need to put alcohol in everything? These pastries would be fine on their own, you know. Just because you can doesn't mean you should. The locals are sure eating this stuff up, though. Call me old-fashioned, but food and drink should stay separate. If this is a delicacy around here, then Alorinthia isn't really my place. But you gotta eat, right? This isn't the kind of place you want to go hungry. I never thought I'd miss some of the food back in Valinorth. But enough about that. Are you having a good time, Monarch? Aside from the whole Coliseum business, of course. Stop it, Monarch. You're embarrassing me. There's far more interesting people here than me. Try mingling with the locals. I'll always be around. Oh, I forgot to tell you. I talked to Alex a little more on the way here. You know, to learn a little bit more about our parents. Part of me was hoping to hear something positive. You know, like they were paragons of virtue or something. I thought maybe, just maybe, they were good people. Sorry, the music kind of cut me off. Right. I was talking about our parents. I learned so much about them on the trip here. Wait, what? Monarch, I don't know how to dance. I just end up embarrassing the both of us. Fun. <laughs> well, don't say I didn't warn you. You'll be teasing us about this for years to come. I can endure some teasing for you, though. You're worth it. I guess this isn't so bad. So, uh, you wanted to hear about our parents. Just a quick warning, it's not the best atmosphere for this story. I mean, talking about pirates doesn't exactly fill one with joy, but I think it's important to know more about our families. Like I said, I was hoping to hear some good news. I always pictured our parents as these perfect, heroic people. But it turns out they really weren't. They were bad people, Monarch. I know pirates get involved in shady things, but they embraced it. Killing, stealing, smuggling, you name it. They were legends in Maseo. They had a whole network operating for them while they were back home. That's how they managed to have a presence in both nations at once. They went to Maseo every month or so to inspect their operations in person. Explains how they managed to raise us and balance their double lives. Maybe it's for the best that they passed on when they did. The village and Salus raised us. 
they gave us our sense of morals. I can't say I'd be too happy if I inherited the morals of our parents. They could have dragged us into the life of piracy as we grew up, too. That would be dangerous. We could have died years ago, you know? If you died, then right now, the world would have no hope at all. So, maybe the occupation was meant to happen. It's guided us to where we are now. Shaped us into who we've become. If we let them shape us, then I have no idea where we'd be right now. It's so weird, since children usually aspire to be like their parents. But right now, I'm using them as a roadmap on what not to do. All I can do is dedicate my life to being better people than them. Maybe that can undo some of the damage they've done. Because I know they tore families apart. They killed and robbed. Some would say that, in the end, being murdered was their justice. But I don't think death is a good form of justice. They should have gotten a chance to make up for their crimes. With them gone, I feel like it's our job to do what they couldn't. So that's something else I'm going to fight for. I'll make up for the damage our parents inflicted. I'll give the world peace so no one has to feel pain. We'll make a world that doesn't need people like our parents. A world that treats everyone with unconditional love and equality. No one will have to live in poverty or turn to a life of crime. Nobody deserves to be a victim of circumstance. To have their life determined by the world around them? No, it's not it at all. We shape the world, not the other way around. So let's shape it into something beautiful. A place where no one has to resort to being evil. I'm sure our parents were introduced to it somehow. It's not like they woke up one day just wanting to be pirates. Maybe it was their parents before them, or some close friends. I guess it doesn't matter, does it? We'll make the cycle end with us. And we'll start a new cycle. One of peace, happiness, and prosperity. One where our children can live full, happy lives. When we get back to Maseo, I, I want to see their old hideout. And I'd really like it if you'd come with me, Monarch. It'll give me a sense of closure. Let me move on. I never thought I'd learn more about our parents in this journey, and I'm even more surprised that it's a truth I never expected. But if I could go back and never learn it, well, I wouldn't. It gives me the drive to become a better person, and it really makes me appreciate everything I have, including you, Monarch. I can never do this alone. Thank you for asking me to dance, by the way. I guess Draku's Grand Ball is a good spot for a first date. But maybe next time, we can go somewhere with better food. <laughs>